channel. If you're new here, my name is Louise. I am a proud parent of two adult children, uh, Blossom, who doesn't live with us, and Corey that does, and dogs Chip and Dow, who are in here with me, because they always are. At some point, you will hear them eating and drinking and trying to get my attention, because that's what they always do. I don't know if they're gonna say hello. Should we try? <laughs> hey, Chip. Chip's in a funny mood today, because we had the fireworks last night, and he's just woken up in a funny mood, haven't you? Hey? He's all right, it's just moody. But we all get that, don't we? <laughs> so if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe. If you like to watch hauls every week, I always do a haul every week, no matter what. And I talk a lot, so if you like somebody that talks a lot, I am doing vlogs. I haven't for a week, is it about a week now? Did do Vlogmas, so I've had a rest. Um, I do miss it though. <laughs> I'm definitely going to up my vlogs a little bit. So it is officially 2021. We survived it. That's what Corey said last night. It came down really excited because I'm I was up with the dogs, otherwise I would be in bed because it's just New Year. <laughs> so I was up with the dogs because they don't like the fireworks. Well, they were actually pretty good. Corey comes down probably at 10 past 20 and he said really excitedly. Um he said we survived. <laughs> so apparently we were supposed to leave Everything was supposed to finish. Okay, dogs get my attention again, I'll be back. Officially, I uh, bought the food Thursday, so it was 2020. <laughs> You'll be seeing this Saturday though. <laughs> Went to a few shops because we're in tier four and you're not supposed to go out. Um, the only difference between lockdown one and now is I don't think they've got restrictions on the amount of exercise. Before you could only do like go out for an hour. I mean, like they know. But, um, yeah, everything else is pretty much the same. So I do all the shops that are open that I need to get in one go rather than keep popping into town is what we're going to have to do again for a while. But that's okay. I went to Asda. I've got to try to remember now. I'm not good at this, you know. I always mess this bit up. Yeah, I went to Asda. I'm trying to think which way around. I went Asda, Poundland. Iceland. I said that all backwards. Um, I'm gonna have to do this in two rounds. If I don't talk too much, it'll be one video. If I talk, talk a lot, it'll be two videos. We're gonna start with the Asda and I'll explain everything as we go along because I've usually got a reason why I bought things. I did buy this yesterday though. I'm actually hauling this on the Friday when I bought it on the Thursday, so I've had to bring things out. There are some things that have been broken into already because we had a fry up yesterday and um, some of the bacon and sausages and things been eaten, but I'll explain that as we go along anyway, so let's get on with it. Right, eggs, we run out, we're having a fry, we had a fry up, so clearly we just need eggs, and I've got some vinegar going, I'm going to pickle some eggs again, because I've got a real taste for them. Okay, we got some tomatoes and the lettuce and the onion, oh, and the cucumber actually. They are all going to be for a, a fake away, why can I never remember what it's called? Kebab. Now I don't, not, like if I was gonna have a takeaway, I probably wouldn't go for a kebab on ourselves in London because there's a specific store there that I like their kebabs, otherwise I really wouldn't bother. But we're gonna try and make a fake away. When I say we, uh, Blossom's coming round today. Not sure when, and um, we're gonna try and do it as authentic, uh, authentically as we can. I was out of brown sauce. I'm the only one who eats them, so I don't normally have to buy them that often, but I've had a lot of leftover mashed potato again if you've been here before I like mashed potato on toast the following day if there's leftover mashed potato going I always do that and you've got to have brown sauce that's the rules <laughs> only got a little milk we're not getting through much milk but we always get semi skimmed and this is the coffee I drink it's 70p and yeah I always get that anyway right so the falafels are to go with the Kebab, fake kebab. Oh, God, I keep forgetting what it's called. That's what that's to go with because that's what I will have. Blossom's going to have chips, but you're there in the next bit of the haul. Also, really wanted to try. I'm not even going to attempt to say it because I don't know how to say it. But it's, you know, when you see like the cheese and meats platter, and it has like olives and all sorts of things. Never had one. Always wanted to try one, and I'm trying to do a lot of this stop saying i'm going to do things and not do them right didn't know where to start so i went with everything i was still within budget so we got this one. Oh, what okay i'm gonna try and remember 
I'm not gonna be able to pronounce these, I don't think. This is, oh, no, I'm not. Okay, there's a Trizo, a Trizo, two different types, and a Salchigon, no, Salchichi, chi, okay. I'm not going to attempt to name these because I don't know them. There's three different meats on that one. You've got two different meats again, and then some cheese. More meats. These are all slightly different. I did check all, all the names and what they're supposed to taste like. Like this one's a sweet and delicate, a rich and garlicky, a sweet and smoky. So I tried to get all different types. I'm aware that they're not all going to get eaten. And I'm not sure what Corey's um, thought process on this one is. So they'll probably be frozen stuff. And I know this doesn't go with it, but I just went with the, the German sausage selection with it as well. So that's mainly the meats. I got... A smoked cheese. I never actually had one of these, but I do like cheeses, and I'm sure I'm gonna. Just sounds nice. Smoked on anything smacks. Just sounds good, doesn't it? These were really cheap. They're only 75p, and there's loads of different. Um, I think it's a soft cheese. Just little, like mouthful soft cheese. There's pesto. Um, oh, oh, there's pesto flavored creamy cheese bites, garnished with herb seeds, chives peppers, carrots, shallots and garlic and they've all got different toppings on so they should all taste different. I thought that was really nice. And then again more cheese. It's this salami but it's cheese. I guess that's the, yeah I don't know. It just looked good and it was cheap. So that's all going to go on the board. I also got these and I've, again something I've never really tried. I think I've probably eaten them when they've been like mixed in with something you know like a pre-made something you might have bought. So this is the sun-dried tomatoes. And then I got stuffed cherry peppers. I think they've got cheese in them. They just look really nice. Never tried that, especially in oils. I don't know how that's going to go. But it all sounds nice. And I'm sure even if I don't like them, I can mix them with things to make them nice anyway. And then I've got... <laughs> I'm going to try... Uh, this is going to be a lot of trial and error and make it up as I go along. So I've got a balsamic vinegar. A vinaigrette. So it's the oil with the vinegar in it. And I like balsamic vinegar and I got the Italian dressing as well because I read a lot of the ingredients and it sounds like it will work so I'm going to try and marinate some olives because I've got quite a few olives and then that will go on this whole platter as well so that's the idea behind these it's going to be an interesting one crinkle cut beetroot I'm nearly out I always get the crinkle cut I, I think it's just the way it's cut or something it's just softer I don't know if it's to do with the way it cooks or whatever it is it's exactly the same as the other ones it's just the cut but it's just uh it just it, I see it, it just it's softer I like that one I've got the caramelized hummus which is going to go with the fake away because that one is really good if you've um if you're a hummus fan hummus it's a hard word to say if you're a hummus fan the caramel, if, if you've not tried the flavoured ones, the caramelised onion is very, very nice. There are a few others off the top of my head. I cannot think of any of them because that's perfectly normal for my brain. Um, but yeah, if you've not tried flavoured ones, definitely try it. Give them a go. If you're going to get some hummus, don't think you'll be disappointed. I got some salsa. That's what I would have if I was going to have chips and dips. And we got lots of ridiculous amount of food at Christmas. I have so many things floating around this house. It's silly. Um lots of different types of crisps and I just thought it'd be nice with a dip I got the sour cream for Corey because that's his choice of dip and I got him some the cheesy nacho tortilla chips he will just take that upstairs and snack on that whilst playing games and things well this one this is the Patek's tikka masala and it, it's the um what do they call it like the condensed the strong version and you mix like tomatoes and things in with it I used to make this for the kids when we were younger, when they were younger, and <clears throat> we all really, really enjoyed this. Turns out I've been doing it wrong all the years that I'd been doing it. You were supposed to put cream and things in it. I didn't realise, so I'd, I'd just put the bits that I remembered, which was like some, I think it was onions and tomatoes. But we enjoyed it a lot that way, so I won't put the cream in it now. And we've got a lot of meat left over from Christmas that's frozen at the moment. So I was thinking of maybe doing a curry in the future at some point. A lot of the foods that I put here don't necessarily get eaten when I think they're going to. And that's why I always end up with a lot of stuff in the freezer and the cupboards and stuff. Uh, sugar, I don't explain that. <laughs> got this this year, black eyed beans. Apparently you're supposed to have at least, like, you just got to have some on New Year's Day. And it's supposed to be good luck or something. 
it's just, I'll just put some in with something through the day and we'll have a couple of mouthfuls of that. <laughs> anyway, you can get any luck at the moment with everything that's going on. We're just going to go with it. So we'll see. It can't hurt. I mean, it's beans anyway, isn't it? <laughs> Got the Jacob's crackers. These were being advertised for three pounds, actually came up at one pound fifty. And they're to go with this, this board. I'm sure somebody in the comments is gonna tell me what it's called. And I do know what it's called, and I've even looked at the word, but I just can't pronounce it, so I'm not even going to attempt it. But yeah, the crackers are for that. Let's put these to the side. These macaroni and cheese, you can get these in the pound store. I normally would get them in the pound store, and they're only 75p, but they've not had them for a long time, and I used the last of my stock to go with Christmas dinner. It's an American twist, you know, when you've been with American for a certain amount of years, you start adopting little things and I've noticed that I sometimes struggle to find the English words for some things there was a whole conversation that happened the other day um yeah so this went with Christmas dinner I know most people wouldn't normally have that um yeah but Corey really really enjoys this one he can eat just a whole packet of them to himself for a meal uh £1.19 in Asda but like I said I can't get it in a pound store at the moment so I got two of them because I know Corey's going to eat one real soon this is to go with the fake kebabs again. Uh, I don't know how that's going to go, but it's worth a try. This also, if you go to a... You get kebabs. I have like, noticed that they put a couple of them in it as well. They're like... Um, it is a, it's a pickled pepper, but it's not got that strong pepper taste. Because I, I, I'm not a massive fan of like raw pepper or whatever. But these are really, really good. And they're from the ethnic section in... Asda. I've never seen them anywhere else uh, unless you go into like a Polish shop or stuff and um, something. If you like pickled goods and you like unusual pickled goods as well, Polish shops are really really good. They have such a massive range of them. Um, I try to not do it <laughs> because I end up with so many pickled things in the house and I've already got so many pickled things I don't need to add to my collection. But these ones are very good. If you're going to go with like a fake kebab, highly recommend. This is going to be a long video, isn't it? <laughs> Again, the kebabs. I just got some of them to go in the fridge. We just finished them. They, they, um, yeah. The little cartons, and they have a long life. These don't, these are good until September. So I just leave them in the fridge, and then, you know, if there's a dessert floating around, someone wants a bit of custard with, they are like a proper portion, whereas the tins tend to be a few portions. So there's always loads left over and it gets binned, whereas this it doesn't. And it, like I said, it can just sit in the fridge for a long time. Going to make pumpkin pies the next day or two. And honestly, could not be bothered to make the base, so I just bought two. <laughs> uh, wings, they're just going to get cooked up and people can pick on them. And they're because they're cheap, so. I did get two of these. If you've been here before, you know I always recommend these sausages. They're 2 50 for one packet or two for four pounds. This is my ultimate favourite. This is the Welsh cheddar and smoked bacon. Really, really good. I also got a packet of the maple syrup and bacon flavour, something like that. Um, we had that with the um, fry up yesterday because it's, it's a breakfast type taste. So there's a whole packet that have gone. I think there's some actually in the active fry still and the bacon that's open, because this is the one I would eat. I have got some in the next part of the haul from a different shop that Corey had, but this is the one I would eat because I like I only eat the medallion and it's easy to cut that off. And I've had these before a while ago. Could not re recommend them enough. They are so good. I'm gonna probably have my fake kebab with one of these instead of the uh, pita, but I know I know that Blossom wanted the pitta, that's why I've got the pitta as well. But these are really, really good. Uh, two bottles of bleach, I have two, um, two toilets and I'm not out yet, but I don't have any of my stock and I always have, like to have backups. And I got some Christmas paper. These were normally coming up at three for three pounds, but they're only 38p a, a roll. I've never paid full price for wrapping papers. Uh, I've always bought them in the sales. I'm always going to do it. There's just no need to spend that sort of money. And bonus, if you can ever find the Christmas wrapping paper on the sale and it doesn't have the Christmas, you know, like plain ones with dots or whatever, you can use them through the year as well. 
And I got a big box. Realised I have too many Christmas things and not enough space. There was a lot of bags going on. I just like it all boxed and sat in the shed. This was £12 normally. It reduced to 8 at the moment. So I got that as well. And I'm just going to show you this because Corey bought me this before Christmas and I kept forgetting to put it in the holes because it's been moved around the house. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, um, he's not got an actual home. But this is his home at the moment. Um, yeah, Corey and me, when we did a haul just before Christmas, he just saw it and asked me if I liked it and he spent so much time looking around all of them making sure we got the perfect one. So that was my uh, one of my Christmas presents from Corey and I absolutely love him. Um, we're still trying to debate a name. But yeah, so that's it. So I talked a lot as usual. I think I may possibly have to split them again. You may get two hauls. We still have Iceland, Poundland. That was everything. All of that came to six. 65 was that 65 i think that was 65 so slightly over budget um still using my christmas money so that's why i managed to get the other bits that i'm going to show you in the next haul that's it for now i'm going to sign off and say goodbye just in case i do have to uh two party i think i'm gonna have to party aren't i i just talk too much <laughs> so this will be our first official 2021 food haul and i will see you in part two hope you're all doing well and i'll speak to you soon bye